Hello everyone, welcome to our charity event for Pokemon Tournament DX here at Extra Life. Of course, a charity run um, organization where we are helping support our local children's hospital with our donations that we raise from this event. So it's for a very good, very good time here. Thank you guys all for coming in and watching here. We have a few people here signed up for Pokemon Tournament. We have, a, I think it was a 13 person bracket. Where we're going to be running it Swiss format, so we're going to be seeing multiple series of rounds and seeing a lot from multiple players so yeah I'm really excited to see what can uh, what we can get out from this right now sorry for a moment but um, a little bit interesting how to get into land mode for this a little bit difficult a little bit kind of unorthodox but anyway we get into these matches here so we're gonna be having a lot of new players here this is an amateur bracket which does mean that we don't we are not allowing any of our standard players on our Nebraska PR for Pokken they are not allowed to play. It's going to be mostly new players. So we're going to be seeing a lot of like new players like really trying the game and really having a great time. Um, I always like events like this. It was actually an event. It was actually last year's Extra Life event where I started really getting into the game. So it's a really great time for people to try out the game and really learn how it works out. But anyways, going into the first match here, I think we're still getting a little bit of things set up here. All right. But anyway, so. Really, want to see what, really can't wait to see uh, what characters are coming out here. There's going to be a lot of interesting choices from new players. So let's see how this all turns out. But anyway, yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how this match, uh, bra uh, bracket turns out. All right, so we have Sirloin and H Bear. I believe this is from Sirloin's perspective right now. All right. So H Bear, so H -Bear um, is a player from Lincoln, I believe it is. Um, she plays Pikachu Leaper. She's come to a few of our events before, so definitely not... Uh, definitely familiar to the game before, but Sirloin is the new name for us. And he's going to be playing Machamp, and H Bear is going to be bringing out her classic Pikachu Libre. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. So Sirloin is going to be bringing out the Evil Tall. All right, that's a very powerful support. Um, if it lands, it can actually knock out your opponent's Synergy Gauge for a short period of time. All right. Ooh, starting off right. So Sirloin may have lost that first field phase, but gets a submission right there. All right, not able to follow the first yet. Still probably the game for taking some mechanics. Well, oh, actually able to snag vulnerable frames there. All right. But H Bear gains some damage in with her five wise. All right, so attack here. Ooh, does fall victim to the f a forward Y cross up right there. Makes sense. Oh ho ho! Electro Web snagging that. Usually, most of grabs in this game, you can actually grab out of them. But Electro Web is a little bit special. That can grab aerial opponents right there. Hanging up a wild charge right there, getting that enhanced stay. Ace there is doing a lot of good work right here. Oh, so turn one, pull out the bulk up. Not quite the right opportunity for it. I pull out the bulk up there though. Lots of double teams here. Oh my goodness, Ace Bear likes the double team button. Anyway, it worked out in her, her favor. Anyway, she's gonna be going into this next round with a full synergy gauge. Sirloin's almost there, just a little bit there, but he's gonna really want to make sure he uses Evil Talk here. And try to lock out H Bear of her synergy gauge. Oh, he's trying to get it, but not quite. The good use that shield, able to punish, but not quite follow up with punish there. Alright, 5YY, looking out in his favor. Oh, do not bulk up right in his face, that's a very, very risky option. Bulk up is something you definitely want to manage very, very well with the champ. But using it in your in your opponent's face like that is a little bit of a risky option. It's pretty laggy. Anyway, H Bear really getting some good work right now. Sirloin does have his synergy push ready to go. He might want to start activating that whenever he can. Oh, that's a crit electro. I believe enhanced as well. This is gonna be doing a lot of damage. I'm oh, not quite finishing off yet. Sirloin's really gonna be wanting to use his burst here. Oh, but Spark is gonna snag that game right before he's able to. Anyway, so that's game one right there for H Bear. This is a best of three format though, as the tournament's gonna be run in. So Sirloin still does have an opportunity to get the run back. He might be changing some things. Didn't quite use his support um, as much as he should have, especially since Evil Lock can really lock out your opponent's burst, which, although H Bear didn't really go into in first place very much though. But anyway, for the next game, so we're actually getting a character change from Sirloin, and we're going out a new, new character, and it's Gengar. Alright. So Gengar is a very, very tricky character to both play and play against. So we'll see if Sirloin can really pull something out here. Uh, Gengar is probably one of the most difficult characters to play in the game. So we'll see if Sirloin can make something work out here. 
Definitely a very big change from a champ as well. Going from the highest HP in the game with a champ to the second lowest with Gengar. Is he gonna be really a lot more vulnerable to like a whole bunch of attacks? So he really needs to play a bit more defensively and a bit more conservatively. Oh, it was a homing attack around the projectiles. Alright. It knows it's connecting. Is he gonna get the follow-up here? Alright, oh, it does not get the uh, follow-up. You can grab after hypnosis like that, which is a very, very good combo. Um, okay, so we're gonna get the Electro Web putting on that speed debuff and putting up the pressure right now onto Sirloin. H Bear going to be eight wise. Oh, there's connecting there. Hypnosis is not working out. Oh, that was he had a good idea with the four wide, but the space in the H Bear was putting on. Not looking, not four wide, sorry, eight wide. Alright, so H Bear doing a lot of good work here. Need a combo in. Oh, not able to finish it though. All right, nice, nice eight wide. Get out of that situation. Ooh, spark landing here. Oh, and Ace Bear able to land that last electro right there to snag the game. Going first into the round right there. Ace Bear one still a little bit struggling to get his burst ready to go, but when he gets it, Mega Gengar can really, really, really do some good damage. Let's see. Ace Bear also has been sitting on Herbert for a while. With a 100 CC character like Pichu Libre, which means that they get um, their burst of wings in the game. Really want to use it as much as possible. Ace Bear is having a bit of a hard time doing here. Alright, so there's a nice combo from Wild Charge into. Not Wild Charge, um, I think it's 8 actually. Into that. Oh, nice using the counter frames on Spark right there to be able to go through those attacks. Oh, so Ace Bear actually able to like, snag vulnerable frames right there. And there's a counter right there, not able to get really much out of it. Looks like Sirloin's still trying to activate his burst yet, but it's still got a little bit of ways to go. There we go, that's a combo. Oh, and that's a mix up right there, nice. Hypnosis is gonna cause a phase change though, but let's see, Sirloin can still make this work. There's a crit hypnosis, that's how he's gonna make this work. Alright, he has his burst ready to go whenever he needs it. Alright, if he goes into it. Ooh, well, that was fancy right there. Alright, let's see how he finds. And. Oh, just barely missing. Oh, but is this it? Oh, almost. Sirloin almost has it in the bag right here. Oh, Rotom gonna accidentally be used a little bit too early. Oh, using those CADCs, nice. Nice movement there by Sirloin. Nice use of a low stance there. Oh, he's using nice with the frames. Oh, this is so good. But oh, H Bear able to snag the last few hits there and beating out Mega Gengar and winning the set 2-0. That was very, very, a very good by H Bear. But I was getting really, really impressed by Sirloin right there. He's pulling out some nice CADCs, which is a bit more of an advanced tactic. And also, um, good use of Gengar's. Um, uh, invisibility, like where he can go invisible and be completely immune. He's making really, really good use of that. So very, very impressive by Sterling. I really hope to see more from him in this bracket here. But H Bear, she has a lot more knowledge of the game. Uh, she probably has a lot more knowledge of the game. She's been to more tournaments. So probably able to use that in her favor. But anyway, we're going to be hopping into the next match here pretty soon. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, we're hopping into the next match here. We're going to have Quaz versus Craylon here. All right, so Craylon, new player, um, definitely hopping into his amateur bracket. But Quaz is a player that has shown up in our practice before. He's from the Nebraska Smash scene. Um, so he's got some... Oh, is that on commentary cam? All right, my bad. All right, but anyway, so getting some... All right, so anyway, so we have Quaz versus Craylon here. So Quaz is a player who's been known from our Nebraska Smash scene, so he's able to um, have some fighting experience there. And he actually, he's plays Machamp. He's this, this Machamp is a treat right here. So anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to be in the end of this match. Going to be make sure everything is okay and working along. Anyway, Craylon, of course, we don't, we, I don't know who he plays yet, so we could be seeing some interesting character choice. I don't remember seeing, um, but he played before, so. But anyways, we're gonna be seeing some Machamp work from Quaz. Of course, this Machamp is a treat. You guys are in for some good stuff here. He goes for the 
not exactly optimal, but the very hype stuff, and it's really, really fun to see. Um, I would say that Quas has a really, really good chance of doing very, very well in this bracket. He has some nice knowledge of the game, knows stuff about Machamp. We really, really want to see what he can pull off here. But anyways, yeah. Um, anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure you check out the Extra Life um, page. Make sure you check out their stuff. It's a very, very good um, foundation and for a very good cause for our for the children's hospital in our local area. So make sure you really give them a look into and really help out um, the children's hospital if you feel if you feel like you want to. You, um, free for donation and stuff like that. So make sure you look into that. Anyways, we're going to be going into this next match here. Let's see. Um, looks like Crayon is still picking his character right now. But anyway, um, I'm thinking character-wise, Machamp is a character... Like, like Quaz is going to be playing Machamp for sure. But um, Machamp is a character who can really um, struggle against like, zoning-based characters. So if Crayon picks someone like Darkrai, Shandor, Gardevoir, it can really give Quaz a very hard time because um, he's very slow. He's, a, he's one of the slowest characters in the game. Napoleon is slower, but he has ways to work around it. Machamp, however, does not. So Quaz is really going to have to work with that. And let's see who Crayon picks. All right, so it's going to be Machamp versus Blaziken. This is actually a... This is actually a very fun matchup to watch. Um, both these characters are just incredibly, what I like to call, it, it's just incredibly explosive. They might be like waiting around a lot, waiting for their opportunity to get in, but when they get in, they just do so much damage. This is going to be really, really fun. Expect a lot of momentum shift and, and momentum shifts and big, big damage coming out from these two players. Anyway, so Blaziken, how, uh, Blaziken, this is what we're talking about with Champ. Blaziken is a character who can do a lot of damage, but he has um, a side effect where every time you use an A attack, he takes a little bit of recoil damage. So you have to be a little bit very conservative on your attacks when you're playing Blaziken. Alright, can't line that Jag, the counter frame. Ooh, the submission counter frame is going through the first blaze kick, so the EX version able to snag some hits. Alright, Crayon going for some stuff right here. Oh, anti-air with 8 wide, but the actual after anti-air with that, um, close combat is not actually true confirmed. You have to, I think he should right job. Oh, nice use of 2x, hitting Quaz out of the air. Alright, so this is going by very, very quickly. Oh, that was interesting. So he went over the first hit of 2x. Oh, like. Oh, so those close combats hit again. Crayon's not expected to be hit by that. Alright. Oh, what was that hitbox? Alright. But anyway, Quad is able to snag that first round there. And already has his first ready to go. Which is very surprising because Champ has a much larger synergy gauge than Blaziken. And the fact that he has it before him, very, very impressive. But anyway, Crayon, if he can get that first ready to go, it looks like he is. Must be running um, synergy cheer, I believe. Anyway, if he can go Mega, Mega Blaziken, that'll be a very, very big advantage. Oh, but here comes a good right face combo, ending with the air grab. Nice, nice combo by Quad right there. Doing a lot of damage and using the heavy slam. Oh, almost doing so much good stuff right here. All right, but now Crayon has put the situation. Now uh, Quad is in the corner. Oh, and a nice AX going straight over. Crayon's will swipe right there with the 2Y and able to snag that first victory. Quaz, very, very strong leader there. But anyway, going into this next match, Crayon really um be using a lot more of that um synergy gauge of his. Uh, whenever he gets to go for it, um, he, he should because Blaziken's um, synergy burst is very, very powerful and also like very, very quick. It really it boosts your speed and whenever you use your burst up, you get a speed buff. So using that is really very, very beneficial. But anyway, Crayon actually doing a character switch here to Pikachu Libre. Okay, so this is an interesting choice. But traditionally, I believe this is a matchup in Machamp's favor. So let's see if um, Crayon can work around that or if Quaz is going to be doing another do another run here like he did the first game. But anyway, so let's see how this turns out here. Crayon though definitely showing some nice um, fundamentals. He's able to throw out space attacks and kind of do some combos to look it. Alright, throwing out some attacks. Quaz being nice and patient with that shield. Right. Oh, actually able to beat up a wild charm. That was interesting. Alright, anyway, so Quaz able to throw that back into his favor. And winning the home attack, he's gonna win that field phase. Got some nice spacing around here, nice jumping up and avoiding attacks here. That is going to be a combo, it's a close combat. Not gonna do too much damage because he does not have the bulk up ready to go. But who needs bulk up when you're Quaz? He's gonna run up with a submission right there. Alright, so Crayon's in a, in a pretty tight situation right now. <laughs> Quaz posing right there with the high stance. And 8x is Crayon for that game right there. Alright. Alright, so using his um, 
special cheer heat. His quads is gonna have his energy burst ready to go, but then again, so is Crayon. He's gonna really wanna make sure he uses that because Pikachu Weaver is one that you can get very quickly and get a lot of benefit from it as well. <laughs> That's a quad doing some shield dancing right there, just playing with it. Alright. Oh, nice combo story right there, but not quite able to end it. Going straight into close combat with some nice damage. Gets a bulk up afterwards as well. Oh, it does fall victim to that counter though. Oh, another 8x! I've never seen this many 8x's in my life in one set. Alright, Quaz is standing his ground and not able to connect though. A little bit too much disrespect there. Alright, Freyon doing some nice work right there, not falling victim to Freyon's uh, to Quaz's crash, but does fall victim to that close combat. And Quaz is going to take this game 2 0 over Freyon though. But Crayon though definitely showing some strong stuff. Looked like he knew some combos and knew he uh, knew how to work them out. But Quaz though showing his experience and his patience as well. It was just like stand there and wait for Crayon to press a button and able to react accordingly. Good stuff from both players there in this in this match. Right. Basically we're at a standstill because of Swiss. It'll okay. All right, guys. So, I'm um, sorry, but we have a little bit of a delay here. We are having a bit of a standstill due to how the Swiss bracket works. We have to finish for all the other players to finish their rounds before we can go into the next game here. So it shouldn't be too long, but a few minutes at the at the most. But anyway, so thank you guys again for tuning into the stream here. This is the Pokemon Tournament DX stream for the Extra Life bracket. Play games, heal kids. That's our slogan here. But thank you guys so much for it. It's for a great cause. Make sure you check out their page on, we have a Facebook page and everything like that. So they have like links so you can check out their cause and everything like that. Make sure you do that. It's for a really great cause. And also while you're at it, make sure you also check out our Pokemon scene here in Nebraska. Um, we're of course um, running this ourselves here. Really, really great scene. Of course, there's me, SK Dale, our also great term organizer, Fumu. You can always hit, um, talk to him on Facebook and everything like that. So if you have it, ever interested in trying out a Pokemon tournament, you can make sure to uh, make sure oh, let us know we have we have um of course we have our locals on two every Tuesday at Underground Gaming so if you're ever interested in that make sure to try it out it's really really great um but anyway so yeah, like I said we're at a bit of a standstill so we apologize for that but in just a few minutes we'll be back to our regularly scheduled Pokemon action here at the Extra Life stream. But yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it. We still have, um, I believe it's, we have a five round Swiss bracket here. So um, we are just now finishing up round one. So we're just getting started here. So you're, so you're not quite done yet. We're gonna be seeing some nice play from a whole lot, a whole lot of players here today. Um, one noble player that I can for sure think of right now who is in the bracket, who we've seen stuff before in other tournaments is Game Genie. Um, he plays Sceptile, and he knows some nice combos, knows some nice stuff about his character. This is really his time to shine. He um, always doesn't, Always gets a little bit um, knocked out a little bit early in our local brackets, but th uh, this is the kind of tournament that can really, really he can really, really shine in. But anyways, really hope to see more from uh, more from him. Hopefully, we get to see him on stream sometime here soon. But anyways, really do appreciate you guys coming out here and watching. But um, by the looks of it, we're gonna be getting into some games here pretty soon. So hopefully, we can. Uh, let's see. But yeah, this is actually our first time ever messing around with a Swiss bracket, so this is gonna be a little bit interesting. We're kind of treading a little bit new, new territory on how this all works out. But I think overall it's running for, um, but mostly I think it's been running pretty well. Also, sorry if you hear any background noise. This is a, it's actually a life size Jenga tournament, to like a full size Jenga seven. tournament. Yeah, there's a life size Jenga tournament going on right next to us. If you ever hear any crashing, that means someone's uh, not doing too well in Jenga. <laughs> uh, I plan to do that later. I want to do that. It looks fun. But anyway, yeah, we have a whole bunch of games here, actually. Um, there's a whole bunch of um, tabletop strategy games going on behind me right here. Um, don't know the names of them because I'm not too familiar with that. But I know we have Mario Kart. We have um, No Moral Combat was here as well. So hopefully we get, maybe you guys will see some stuff from them as well. And of course, tomorrow we're going to have some trading card uh, um some card games going on, like Pokemon TCG, I know that for sure is going on, so make sure to 
look into that if you're interested. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, but anyways, um, hopefully we can see, hopefully this uh, bracket will come, uh, come back into play here soon, so we can start getting some games back on. What's going on guys, it is Sorry's Hack here. It appears that the next match we are going to have is H-Bear versus Game Gene on stream. Two players who have been playing quite a while, they just haven't been able to come to tournaments consistently. But they are still eligible for amateur brackets. Because they are not on PR. And Game Genie making his way over to the chair. Hopefully he doesn't hold the bracket up. So we're going to get going here really soon. All right, guys, we are just about to start here.
All right. We've got Septile versus Pika Libre. We are ready to go. Ready to go. Sentile gets the uh, forward life for the patient. Ooh, that game dream misses and leech him too. My combo grabs him just in time. Electro web will work. Isn't able to counter that jump X due to vulnerable frames. He jumps over for a grab. Taking a good lead right now. A little under half health right now. What a lead Jimmy has right now. He calls in the uh, Sylveon for the defense buff and the Ooh, Detect calls it in. Essentially getting rid of that defense, defense buff. Combos into the Giga Dream to heal himself. Calls in Poplio for the double jumps and the attack buff. Ooh, ooh. Tries to combo that just barely doesn't hit. The bullet seed hits. What a commanding round there by Game Genie. Let's see if he can keep his momentum up, or will H Bear come in and slide that way, slide, slide into the victory? Ooh! Nice use of traps. To force Pika Libre into the, into the middle. These combos, true combos, have, truer combos have never been performed. Fly combo from Genie doing quite a bit of damage. Isn't able to combo off that though. Isn't able to detect either. Genie calls in his burst. Adrian tries to go for a grab. Will counter those attacks though. Isn't able to combo off much else though, but she does get the Electro Web, getting rid of the Poplio. Getting completely getting rid of Poplio's effects there. Grabs the Synergy Burst! Doesn't quite kill yet. Let's go for a wild charge. She will shield the dragon breath. Ooh, those wild charges are missing, but it's really not. Hits the wild charge on the very end. Getting her the round. The rounds are tied up 1 1. Alright, final round. Ooh, that trap just doesn't hit. Board of Y won't hit, but he'll shield it. Let's get the Y at Y. Look at that combo. Really good at that Counters that. Ooh, dodges the wild charge into 8x because it's a low. It puts him in midair and completely, he completely dodges it. I have to go for a Giga Dream. It's too close. The Libre is too close right now. Calls in the Litten for the damage. Into the combo. That was pretty cool. Genie doing these things I've never seen before. They're like so simple, but I've never seen them. I see all these complicated, all these complicated stuff. Oh,
Ooh. <laughs> wow, that low dodging that attack is a bit high. Nice shield press there. Tries to go for the fake out air grab. Ooh, that auto part not working out for him. Auto part not working out for him. The 2 wide knocking off the counter. I'll charge hits. Ooh, doesn't dodge that. He can use the attack. Doesn't counter there, I'm gonna get it. Tries to leap late that air gas, that uh, spark. Doesn't work that well. Oh! Oh my god! The counter, the air grab works! Ooh, he tries to work the first one. Tries to go for the he goes for it first. That's how we'll shield it. Ooh, did that work? That com that combo. The one hit combo. Quite insane. And that's not going to cause much. Uh, oh man, leaving her at 16 HP. Okay, okay, things happen. Let's see if Jamie can keep this momentum going for himself. Gets the, gets the Giga Dream. I like how Sceptile's known as a trapper. Sceptile's good for trapping, and he has like he hasn't he has as many grabs as a grappler. He actually has more grabs than most grapplers. It's kind of the same. It's also the low hit to get rid of that uh, electro. Ooh, nice fake out there hitting the vulnerable frames. On the Synergy. Ooh, the Dragon Breath catches the vulnerable frames. Ooh, that combo, that was really cool. Ooh, does he catch it? He caught her! He caught her! It might not kill due to rage, but I'm not sure. That will! Genie takes game two. Final game between H Bear and Game Genie. I get it. So, all right. All right. All right. So I think H Bear actually picked the face shift there first. Tries to go for an air. Tries to go for the Giga Dream. I keep thinking it's air gun. Puts him in the air. Ooh, the toxic does not work. Last round, she needs. 
Calls in the pop layer for the attack buff and the jump buff. Ooh. That grab. Ooh, that grab barely not working. Tries to go for a leaf wave. Doesn't work. Backing up right now, just kind of distance. Nice combo there by Genie using both Leech Seeds. That is insane. Blue Ray is going into burst. Oh, using light hits. That's a light hit. Rage might give it to her, too. Rage might give it to her. Yep, Rage gives it to her. That is 2 1 H bear. Yeah, it was 2 1. So next up we have, uh, I don't know the names, Lazy versus Angela. Angela, one of the uh, staff members here at Extra Life. By the way, if you uh, if you guys are listening to this and you don't know, Extra Life is a charity organization. I, uh, I don't know all the details off the top of my head, but basically this is off of charity, and it is really awesome. Everyone that is attending here today has donated to Extra Life. I don't... Okay, so we've got Lucario versus Empoleon. So Lazy has been doing a lot of practicing. I recently played against him. Uh, and he has actually been doing very well with Empoleon. He knows he knows his combos. He could work more a little bit more on his shield. But Napoleon's just catching it. Yeah. He's just pushing up. Calls in the Morga. We'll shield it. Yeah, the stream speed's over that ice beam. Hits the bone rush on the vulnerable frames. Oh, and the steel wing hits her. Didn't get a bad start there. She did pretty well there for a little bit, but. We have a crowd around Angela right now, that's kind of hilarious. Alright, round two. Jumps over the ice beam. She's jumping right now. You know what, it's working, so I don't blame her. It's not winning the game though. Gets the forward Y information. 6Y. Right now. 
That ship is in. Oh my gosh, that shield pressure is insane. I forget how much surf does to, to your shield. It's insane. Oh, surf for the damage. Extreme speed. I like how he uses his power. That was perfectly timed. That could not be more perfectly timed. Yet. Both going to some. Ooh, she hits it! Kamehameha times 10. Massive damage. Not quite it yet, though. She is at a lead. She does have a lead, though. Uh oh. She's kind of dodging attacks. And that is it. Lazy takes the first game. I will say, though, Angela did pretty well there. She was doing damage. And she was doing pretty good dodges there for a little bit. Alright, we're doing game two. Let's see if Angela can make a great comeback here. I definitely think she could. She has the potential to. She's doing pretty good against uh, Lazy here, there um, in the uh, second round. Just jumping, jumping field phase. It's the best thing to do against Napoleon. Grabs him. Six Y. Knock him away. Bone rush to come in quickly. Ooh, the fake out. Let's go over shield a little bit too early. Ooh, nice use of the bone rush to get over the counter. Six Y. She doesn't have quite. She doesn't quite have the lead yet. But she's getting there. There's the lead for her. You're doing well. Just keep doing it. All right, getting into combos here. Doesn't come quite as much as he probably wanted. To. Bone Rush will hit Empoleon. Ugh. Ooh! That's a little grab. That will get... That will get critted. One Empoleon for the... Uh, oh! Eh! Yeah. Ooh, gets away from the grab just in time. And the bubble explodes in her face. to burst. That is it too with the defense debuff. I don't think Razor's gonna help her. No, Razor's gonna help her in this situation. That is it. Lazy will take this 2-0.
Alright everyone, welcome back to round three of our Pokemon tournament Swiss, uh, Swiss bracket here for extra life, charity, play games, heal kids. Great, uh, great, uh, great cause for our local children's hospital. SK Dale back on the mic here. And we're going to be going into this next game here. We're going to be having Tagori and Toot My Hoot. Low key, that is an excellent name. Um... So anyway, I think I saw a little bit from these players before. So definitely um, has some solid idea, uh, solid knowledge of the game. So we're gonna be really, really want to see how this all turns out here. Character-wise, though, I don't remember exactly who they're playing. I think one of them played Breaks, and I think that was Tagori. I think he was playing Breaks. So let's see if we're gonna be seeing that here. Um, Breaks, of course, if it is the case, Breaks is a very, very good character, one of the best characters in the game. Anyway, so yeah, okay, we're gonna be getting Breaks in versus Lucario. All right. So these are two very, very strong characters. Let's see how Tagori and Toot My Hoot um, plays out. I think I've heard tradition is actually not a great matchup for Brakeson. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like I remember hearing that. So let's see how this all turns out here. Anyway, support-wise, I did not see what Tagori was running. Let's see how it turns out. Alright, so Tagori's actually being Espeon. Think about, um... So it looks like so. Alright. Oh, a little bit this time bonus there from two. I, I, I'm going to go. <laughs> Alright. Some nice golf swing right there. Tagori getting some nice advantage already. So Tagori is running Espeon. It's not quite something I would suggest with uh, Breaks because Breaks has uh, such a property that her, um, her moves can be support canceled, which means she can do some really, really nice combos with other support. So using a healing support like um, Espeon can be a little bit. A little bit unoptimal. But anyway, so Tagori gets damage in, but Toot My Hoot with this nice 6Y able to come with a 2X there for a nice wall spot damage. And sending Tagori into a bad situation. You use Espeon to get out of that situation, man. Alright, Tagori does have the, um, his burst ready to go when he needs it. Alright, oh, there's a crit right there on the counter. Oh, nice sna snagging the vulnerable frames. Who able to snag that round from the clinches? From the near near death right there. But anyways, let's see here. Going this next round, Tagori does have a full burst ready to go. Breaking burst may not be the most powerful, but you cannot deny a burst nonetheless is scary. So be good to make sure to utilize that when you can. Hoot though, still a little bit working on that. Be unfortunate because Lucario is a character who's really, really, really bad from their first attack. All right. Who's able to flip this back into field phase? Alright, really, really hurting that shield right now. A nice, uh, nice using of his move, um, sideways movement to avoid all the projectiles. Nice jumping out of that side beam right there. Nice, but he's trying to find some openings and gets a homing attack finally. I'm gonna have his burst ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and use theirs. Here comes Crow gonna get out the play. Ooh, instant burst activation. Is he gonna land? Oh, nice, nice shielding that. Not, not messing around with that burst. Excellent anti air right there. With the um, 8 Y, I believe it is. Oh, he's nice using the light armor through that aura sphere. Tagori really, really in a good situation right now. Hoot really needs to hit on his last legs. He can only take one more hit before he loses this. Oh, nice jumping out of there, getting out of the situation. He's getting in one more time. Alright, he's using JY, he needs me. JX would be really, really helpful here because the dive can give him that extra, extra little movement that he needs to get in. But Tagori able to snag that last round. We're going to round three here of game one. Alright, so now Tagori's gonna be going Umbreon. So this one not, this one can be interesting. I've seen some Umbreon combos, and of course Umbreon can be really useful. If Hoot does go into burst, he can really um use that as a nice little leap option. But Hoot really could be using that burst a little bit more, especially since Mega Lucario can be absolutely terrifying and just uh, destroy health bars. Alright, here comes Mega Lucario coming out to play. Oh, Light Armor coming to effect here, but Umbreon gonna be put there, knock away any crit opportunities Tagori might have. That's Tagori up. Anyway, who able to snag that right there? Not able to get too much off Mega Lucario, but damage is damage nonetheless, and he's gonna have to take that. But now, Tagori is gonna be sitting on that burst, ready to use it whenever. Oh, uh, combo off the J Web, not able to finish it right there. Here comes a synergy burst right, a synergy attack right away. So, 
it may be um, tempting to really use that uh, synergy right away, but it can be very, very predictable because as you can see, who was able to know that and was able to shield right at every single time. Oh, nice damage right now of Tagori just putting on so much pressure. Who having a hard time getting the legs, but now Tagori snagging that last round there, winning game one right now. I think that suggests that who really needs to um, utilize his burst whenever he can. Especially with Lucario, can really, really benefit so much from it. Anyways. So we're hopping into the next game here. So we're going to be seeing a character change from Hoot, I believe. So let's see. Uh, maybe going to be changing up the card. Could we just change the support as well? Let's see what he brings out. Definitely, um, he's a newer player. He can have a lot of options, so he really wants to try out some new characters. This is the best time to do it here in amateur bracket, especially as a Swiss round, because um, he'll be playing five rounds nonetheless, uh, no matter what. So always good to know that I have a lot of freedom with these kind of brackets. So anyways, let's see how this turns out here. Let's see what characters he picks here. Alright, anyway, thank you guys again for tuning into the stream here. It's a Pokemon Tournament DX. It's a really, really great, really, really great time. A lot of people are having a lot of fun with the game. So let's see. Going to this next, we're going to be having Suicune versus Breaks. And okay, Suicune's going to be interesting. Um, another sort of zoner um, himself, so this could be uh, Battle of the Projectiles here. Suicune has a very, very useful tool in this matchup, though, and that is a Mirror Code. So if Tagori gets a little bit too um, hasty with his uh, projectiles, um, who can just mirror cut those away and send a huge hyper beam towards Tagori? See if he can utilize that. All right, he's trying to approach. Oh, he found he found Mirko. Let's see if he can utilize it though. All right. Oh, straight in the face, Hydro Pump actually worked out. Tagori not able to counter it in time. Who's trying to find the use of Mirko? Let's see if he can find it before it's too late. All right. Who just standing his ground, trying to get the Aurora Beam, but a little bit too slow. This is an absolute fortress right here, did not take it. Uh, making Tagori approach, not him. Alright, though, Tagori is at their burst, so let's see if he can use it. Lots of forward wise. <laughs> Alright, so Tagori in a nice, nice situation. Oh, Mirko not working out. Um, that only activates if it, um,. Hit, if a projectile hits you, then you can send out uh, your counter attack from Mirko. But if they don't, uh, you hit you with a projectile, it can be at least you kind of like sitting in the open. Have to be a little bit careful with it. But anyway, Tagori putting on some nice aggressive pressure right now. Good stuff coming out here. All right, <laughs> who is who is just standing strong right here, not even moving a muscle, making Tagori do all the work. But Tagori is doing a nice job of doing that. Alright, uh, who is going to be able to snag um, Crab Cook right there? Ooh, the Lapras combo not quite working out though. It's a bit hard to combo with. You usually need a wall to do it. Ooh, the counter is going to miss right there. And here comes first Suicune. Alright, there's nice damage. This could be dangerous. Oh, here comes the burst. Oh, just barely hit the a little bit of shield damage right there. But now Tagori going into his own burst. Oh, does get the counter attack. This could be dangerous. <laughs> so Gory went for like an amazing bait right there. Because um who was adjusted to knowing that he's gonna burst almost every single time. He went for a grab, but this is too far away. But I like the game he's playing right now. Oh, and so Gory snagging that last round right there. Winning the round in the game 2-0 over to Mahu. I, lo I love that name. It's great. Good stuff. Anyway, good stuff from both players. Um who definitely um, seemed a little bit unfamiliar with um, Suicune, but it was, still, it was still do some stuff there. But anyway, good stuff from both players.
All right, and we're hopping into this next game here. We're gonna have Quaz versus H Bear. You've seen both these players before. H Bear with the Pikachu Libra. You've seen her in the previous rounds, and Quaz you've seen with that excellent Machamp. So we're gonna be seeing these two players duke it out here in our next game. So, anyways, um, it's gonna be so like I can say it's probably gonna be Machamp versus Libra. This is a matchup in Machamp's favor, if I remember correctly. Dan, can you confirm this is a Machamp's favor, right? Machamp Libra. Yes, okay. That's why I remember. That's why I thought. So this is one of um, Libre's not as excellent matchups. So this can be very, very, very dangerous here for H Bear. But um, we could be seeing some good stuff from both players. H Bear able to throw out some very powerful attacks, but then again, Quaz known for throwing out his own. So we're gonna be seeing some big damage from both players here. Let's see who's gonna come out on top. Anyway, these are two probably one of the more familiar character, uh, familiar players that we have in this tournament here. So let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Right, we're going to Dark Coliseum here for some nice, nice, edgy scenery. But anyway, so ha here we are hopping into this game here. All right, so Quaz is going to be running. What support is he going here? I did, was not able to see it before. All right, so we're going to the classic Frogadier, the safety frog himself, hopping in. And h is going to be running Sylveon. A bit of a, in my opinion, a little bit of a redundant choice because um, Pikachu Weaver can already get nice access to... Um, Defense up. Oh, so Hopin has some nice damage off the JX already. Quad taking a pretty big lead. Submission not working out though. Ooh, double teaming through the heavy slam. And here comes the wild charge. He's gonna crit. He's gonna do a whole lot of damage to the attack buff. Quad's in a bad situation right now. Oh, trade with the humming cap. The second try will work out in Quad's favor. Oh, the discharge able to snag this hit right there. Oh, that worked. Okay, Quaz able to snag a hit right there, going straight over the discharge. Here comes Safety Frog. Not gonna land quite yet. Both players on the last leg right now. Ooh, the forward wide is gonna steal the hit right there. Oh, h gonna go ahead and use her burst. Is Quaz gonna shield it? All right, he is. Now he's in a bit of a tight situation. Oh, six Y Y Y right there. Zang that hit Quaz, making an excellent comeback right there. And has his burst ready for the next game. H-Bear though is going to be a little bit desolate on the burst side right now, so let's see if she can make that up. Alright, playing around that counter right there, Quaz Qua is going to lose that first field phase. Oh, clashing there, clashing tags. Oh, so that was interesting right there. That was good um, anticipation by Quaz. He did some mission to do the attacking from the mission counter frame, but he knew that he wouldn't be able to grab anyways because um, she was attacking. So it will very smart for him to drop that. He probably could. H is actually looking at the perfect right now if he can keep this up. Quaz is not able to handle the pressure right now. There's a spark right there. H is doing so much good stuff right now. Oh, and that is a oh uh, almost a perfect. She did some recoil damage to herself right there. Almost a perfect though on Quaz. Quaz really could really not able to handle the pressure that Ace Bear is throwing out. Right. Oh, and there's a spark. That's, that's a very, very dangerous move. It's also very, very um, punishable on block. So, that's up for it. Like, first block, you can use it. You can do it. Majority of things. Alright, so Quaz can really be using the taking advantage of his first right now. Since you're right now, I would suggest using it. Grace Bear has her own as well. Alright, not going to finish up the combo. What? That actually works? Okay, that's weird. Alright, so Quaz is in a tight situation right now. Heavy slam not working out. This is going to be a very bad situation for Quaz. Oh, splashing it with the counter. Oh, not that time though. Quaz is in a really bad situation. You guys need to use it first, and there it is right there. It's a dangerous situation now for H Bear. Oh, cross up not working out in his favor though, right there. Here comes E. Alright. 5x coming out. Oh, but then again, H Bear has his own. Uh, um, Quaz has his own 5x. And, oh, Quaz not able to throw out his burst in time. And H-Bear kind of snagged that first game right there. But uh, Quaz definitely put in a really strong fight. But with that perfect on the second game, might have hurt Quaz a little bit on the um, mental side. So let's see if Quaz can really bounce back from that. Or is H-Bear going to be making this a nice, nice set? All right, so are we going to be getting any changes here from my player? Nope, we're going to be hopping straight back into the next game. All right. Let's see how Quaz can make this work here. Alrighty. Same support as before. 
Nice counter from H Bear. Peach Weaver has one of the best counters in the entire game. Alright, going for the double team attack. Bill, this is gonna be a nice combo right here. This is good damage onto H Bear. Cloud's gonna be stacking that lead real quick right now. Oh, that was a nice idea with the JX, but not able to quite make it work out. Oh, and there's an Electro Wall. It's gonna be using good damage and a nice speed, which can mean a lot on the champ. Claude's <laughs> going for a drop kick right there, predicting a grab, but not quite working out in his favor. H Bear is taking that lead back. Alright, bit of a weird situation for Claude. He's up against the wall now. He can H Bear keep it up. Oh, but here comes another combo on Crit as well. Big damage onto H Bear. Let's see if Claude can make this comeback happen. Still on those, gonna make that a little bit difficult. Oh, forward wiking all this stuff. Doesn't have many counter fights, so you have to be a little careful with countering. Oh, here's a combo. Oh, this is dangerous. Now, Aether going into her first. Here comes the activation. Boss keeps that shield up, playing it safe. Alright, here comes Frog Deer. Found some pressure. Give him a free bulk up. <laughs> Aether's gonna walk through that. Poor Frog Deer. Oh, this is close. Oh, and there's the Electro Web. This might be it. Not quite. Oh, and that's it right there. Quaz, oh, on his last leg, but it will snag that first round. <laughs> Cutting it really, really close right there. Let's see if Ace Bear can bring it back, though. Oh, not able to get the punish, though, on that misplaced counter. Oh, this is going to be a big combo. All right, here we go. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, able to hit the last hit of close combat. Ace Bear missed timing her shield and not able to get it. All right. Oh, there's Electro. You cannot jump out of that. Is a very special counter in that sense. All right. Oh, that was a nice idea with the JY, but not able to work it out. H Bear putting on some nice pressure right now. Oh, here comes a two X combo. Straight the close combat. Some. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. All right. Let's see. Quad sitting on a nice HP lead right now. Going into his first. All right. Double burst activation for both players. Here comes the first attack with H-Bear. Not able to connect. Quad's playing it nice and safe. Oh, here comes his first. Oh, that's a crit. This is, this is gonna do it. I am almost gonna Oh, actually, hold on. No way. Oh my god, Sylveon stays alive. Okay. Oh, almost got the submission. Just one more hit from for Quad and he's gonna be able to do this. And there it is right there. Quad's able to take game two. Alright, so we're going to game three here. Quads vs. H Bear. Let's see if we can bring this out. Quads are very, very dominating that game right there. Taking a nice, nice recovery from his first game loss. Let's see who's gonna be able to snag this third game though. Alright, no changes from either player. Alrighty. So let's see here. Oh, does get the not quite a true punish, but able to avoid that last second hit. Oh, so HP put on some nice pressure with your counter to combos. And the oh, so Electro Web reset is going to be some big damage on the quads. It's causing phase shift right now. That speed debuff really, really means a lot. The chance already slow, but if it's slower, that can really, really hurt. Man, HP is going to town on quads right now. I guess that was not an 8x. I thought it was, but that doesn't grab crush. All right. Man, Quads cannot get his footing. Oh, but here we go, JX right there. Here comes Frog here. All right, able to snag a hit right there. Gets a bulk up as well. Oh, second hit's gonna connect. Oh, I saw. I think I saw a heavy slam there. I think that's what it was. Oh, nicely timed JX. Can Quads still do this? Oh, miss space right there. Just go, tries to go for the full comp, but not able to connect. All right, let's see if Claude can bring this back though. But H Bear seeing a full burst as well. She's in a pretty, pretty nice situation. Oh, that is a kind of, I'm pretty sure. Spark is very, very fun. Oh, able to shield in time. All right, so H Bear's gonna get a combo going here. But Claude's getting his own going. He's defending with the ride shop. Oh, and it's as well. Nice, nice HP lead right now. H Bear's gonna go ahead and go ahead and use her burst. Oh, Rock Smash does count as a light attack. Oh, able to heavy some out of the situation. And combos off of it as well. Alright, nice use of Claws fading out the burst right there, backing up and putting himself in a safe situation. Alright, let's see. Quad's probably holding on to his burst. He doesn't really want to use it yet. Save it for the last game. Oh, but Ace Bear gonna be pulling things around for himself right now. 
Oh, but here we go. This could be it. it oh, maybe not. Oh my god, Sylveon saved so many lives. Oh, Miss Miss JX Quads might have to use his burst right now, and he's going to go ahead and use it. He needs to make sure he wins this. H we're gonna use her burst again. Okay. Oh, nice heavy slam. Give a beat that electro web. Quaz going taking this to round three. Game three. Here we go. Alright, this is either player's um game here. Alright, nice this is H Bear going for that um synergy nugget right there. Get herself in a better situation on the synergy gauge. It will cause comboing off of JY. Oh, it does overcommit though. Then punish though by the way. Alright. <gasps> oh, that's a heavy slam tech right there on the Electro Web. He's not falling for those crap mix ups anymore. Alright. Ace needs to step it up to be a little bit more careful. There's a combo right there. Well, doing a nice man damage. Alright, Ace Bear is singing her last one, but she does have her synergy ready to go. And Sylvia on the protector is even more. Oh, nice submission by Quaz using his submission frames, uh, using the counter frames that he got from using both of them. Oh, Ace Spirit's in a really, really tight situation. Now, both of the players are going to be going into their first. Oh, that nice heavy slams. And there's a burst from Ace Spirit. It is going to connect uh, Quaz with the press up button. It's going to be doing some nice damage, boosted by Rage. It's going to be doing a nice amount, but not, probably not enough to go over half. Okay, just a little bit over. Half of the champ's health there. Quaz is still in a very, very favorable position. Oh, and that is going to connect and take the game for Quaz. 2 1 over H Bear. All right. Very, very close game for both players. Oh my god, that was nice. That was a really, really good game right there. Um, yeah, so uh, def Quaz definitely seemed to be adapting a lot to H Bear's techniques. Um, nice use of like using his heavy slam to get out of that electro web that she uh, reset that she liked to go for so much. But now. Good stuff from her. Uh, good stuff for uh, H Bear though. Still, a uh, nice position. That's I think that's her first loss of the day today. So anyway, good stuff from both players. But Quads in a nice position in this tournament now.
Alright everyone, we're hopping into our next round here of the Swiss Bracket. Um, looks like we're gonna have Lazy versus Quaz. Like, yeah, Quaz is going back up with his Machamp, but Lazy coming out here, gonna try and challenge him his own game. So let's see. Alright. All right, everyone hopping into this next game here. Quad's going Machamp and Lazy gonna be bringing out Empoleon. Alrighty, so hopping in here. Quad's right off his victory from against H Bear. See if he can keep momentum. Lazy starting off with the Ice Beam. Okay. And so Lazy is trying to find some opportunities here. Trying to scare Quaz. This might not be a matchup Quaz is familiar with. Might not know Empoleon too well. Don't see many Empoleons around. Doing some nice Aqua Jet combo to cut. Ooh, oh, Jay Jack is getting stuffed out. Lazy doing some nice catch right here. Okay, so here comes Ice Beam setting up. Going for the Hydro Cannon. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Quaz getting a combo off right here. Ooh, able to, not able to connect that Karate Chop. Alright, Espeon coming out here, but it's a little bit dangerous situation. Does get hit by the full, fully charged 5x. Alright, so Quaz is trying to find an opportunity. Just keeps jumping over those Aqua Jets. And over oh, Hydro Cannon as well. Go for the Cross Shot, finally snagging it. Oh, just barely missing. But oh, it doesn't matter if it misses. He's gonna land the close combat anyway off of the 8 white conversion. Alright, Quaz just needs one more hit against Lazy, but Lazy, of course, is going to be able to use his burst, and Empoleon in burst can be very, very deadly. His power output is crazy, and that is a burst confirmed right there, but is it going to connect? Uh, is it going to kill, though, is the question. Um, it's going to be interesting. I, yeah, I think it will. Um, let's see. Oh, it must have been just enough to finish off Quaz right there. Very nice burst confirmed, though. Lazy showing he is not messing around with this Empoleon here. Quaz really gonna need to adapt to be able to overcome this here. Let's see how this works out. Okay. So let's see here. Nice getting him with a forward Y. That crown hit right there with the water. Very, very powerful. Level 3 Aquaja happening right here. Gets the combo into Surf for good damage. Are you able to land that hit right there with the JX. However, not enough to really build things in Quaz's favor. Because Frog Deer set up some nice damage there on the Lazy. Oh, Umbreon coming in just in time to get him out of that submission right there. Nice in time. The JX so is going to connect. Quaz gonna need to fit. really, really have to get in. So. Not falling for the Rock uh, rock Smash follow up right there. Alright, Quaz might be one to use the first right now. He's in a bit of a deficit right now. Go get in the try and true JX combo right there. Oh, he's going to use Burst into Field Phase. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just runs up and homing attack there. Oh, and gets the charge right there. Qu Lazy trying to ca um, counter. But once fully charged, your homing attack will always counter Pierce. So you have to be a little bit careful of that. Alrighty. Lazy going for the Ice Beam right there. Testing the waters. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Alright, um, oh, some nice submission here from Quaz. Alright, so here comes Aqua Jet into, um, Flag Surf right there. You can only do the Surf follow-up if it's a level 3 Aqua Jet. Um, the Aqua Jet actually changes its properties depending on how far away it is you can use it. Level 3 is the best kind of Aqua Jet, and that's the furthest away. Um, you can get the most follow-ups, like Surf like that. If you do it with level 1, if you go for Surf, it will not fully connect with the shield in between. Level 3, you cannot. Alright, anyway, here comes Lazy though, with the first. Goes for the waterfall, and there's some mission punish. I don't know, is that true punish? It might be. I don't know, but that's a whole lot of damage. And with Eevee as well, that attack buff doing so much right there. Oh, that's a confirm? Is that gonna hit? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, Exhaust Rain's working out in Lazy's favor. 
the grab, it does not do a whole lot of damage, and Quaz is so in its last legs. Oh, nice grab there from Blazy. He's gonna be taking that first game right there. Really doing some nice employee on stuff. I believe Lazy has been working with um, our resident players, Papersack and Pacano. I think he's one of their friends, so he's gonna be—he's definitely been getting a lot of um, a lot of lessons from them. He's been doing really, really well. I really, really like how this employee is turning out. I really have high hopes to see um, his future here in our scene here, and how he does it in this bracket as well. Considering he's doing some very, very good stuff here. Alrighty, so let's see here. Quaz is gonna really need to work out on this. He might not be familiar with Empoleon. This is definitely a character you don't see very often. Not a very popular character. Let's see how it works out with it. Alright, so throwing out some nice JYs. Very, very good move to make some distance. Oh, there's a combo right there. It's the full bulk up and crit powered combo right there that Quaz has been going to get so much this tournament. Nice JX over right there. Well, 5x will look this time, and there's a Rock Smash that are going to cause that defensive debuff. Alright, oh, going in with the Ice Beam. Now, Quad's sitting at some nice damage right there. Ooh, Phil this time to Espeon. Oh, nice there, counter snagging that JX hit. Oh, here comes Frog Deer. Is that a punish? Oh, not quite hitting him out of the air. Oh, that was almost really cool. But, okay, so you saw right there, it started to not connect. That was because that was a level 2 off of it. Alright, so nice job uh, jumping over that Hydro Cannon, but it's not going to get any points off of it. Still, avoiding that attack is always valuable. Oh, so that off of it instead of light attack, so therefore he's able to um, synergy armor through it. Punish with a burst, and that is going to kill right there. So while taking that first round right there, he's making nice use of his synergy, arm, uh, synergy burst armor. The only thing is, is actually he started shielding that, he would not be able to do that, so he could only have done that punish if he just synergy armor through it. So that was very, very good work there. Alright, but Lazy though, at his turn, he burst ready to go when he needs it. Nice, he's a forward wide counter frame. It's very, very hard to use that because um, not a lot of counter frames on that. I think it's only a handful, like less than 10. So like, you have to be pretty precise when countering moves with it. Alright, able to shield the surf right there. I believe that is punishable, but Quad's not able to get anything out yet. And of course, getting the combo J uh, JX 8Y 2A. The classic Quaz. Alright, here comes a first confirm right there. He's gonna be a whole lot of damage coming out. Alright, here comes some good damage. I like that burst, it looks so cool. I really, really like it. Sadly, it's not a great burst. Um, and Bullion's burst is very, very exploitable if you don't confirm it through it. Um, it's considered a grab, so you can jump out of it. But alongside that, uh, unlike other grab bursts like Gengar and Mewtwo, Empoleon has no iframes on his um, first attack, so he cannot like go through other bursts. He will always lose if they do any kind of attack. Alright, Quaz gonna be going into his burst now. Oh, that is going to get it right there. Nicely timed by Quaz, and that is going to kill. I believe he's about 250. He's at 220 when he began. This is going to be it. Quaz taking that. We're going to game three here, Quaz versus Lazy. Alright. Quaz well, definitely finding his footing right there. Lazy gonna need to really, really work on um, dealing with that pressure there that Quaz is throwing out. But Lazy though is still doing some good work right there. Doing some nice burst confirms, nice combos as well, and nice setups. Anyway, so. Okay, so here we go. Game three here, Quaz versus Lazy. Let's see who's gonna be able to work this out. Nice JX punch right there. May not punish, but Quaz uh, um, able to snag it anyways. Ooh! Able to take advantage of Hydro Cannon's very high startup right there. Now Lazy getting a combo off, ending with Cut. Alright, trying to find opportunities here. Ooh, okay, so that's a bit unfortunate. That means, yep, that is very punishable because Quaz accidentally input the close combat even though it didn't connect. Nice combo though, ending with a karate shot for good damage. Now Lazy, going for Rock Smash setups. Oh, submission grab not come out quick enough. Lazy able to get out of it. Oh, unfortunate right there. So Lazy gonna go and use his burst. And that is a burst confirm. Let's see how much damage this is doing. It might kill. Uh, okay, wait, it's starting without 
um, rage armor, so this could actually be... This could be it. Let's see. And... Oh, almost there for Quad's on his last legs. But of course, now he has some rage attack buffs. But, ooh, okay, so that JY stacking that win. Quad's on his last... Um, Game point here for Lazy if he able to snag this next game. But Quaz does have his burst almost ready. Lazy though has to work for his, but Umbreon can help him in that situation. It is able to take away some of your synergy gauge. Alright, let's see. Lazy doing some good work. Keeping Machamp away, which is the main goal of any character, is to just keep Machamp out of here. Alright, going for the full 6YY, which is not the 6YYYY, which is not a combo. Anyway, close combat snagging some nice hits right there. Quaz still has his first ready to go whenever he needs it. Nice. Oh, Surf not able to connect though, but he's gonna do some nice shield chip. Oh, I saw a shield there, but I guess he tried to jump out. Here comes Umbreon. Oh, does he get shielded? Nice, nice work by there by Quaz. Alright, so Lazy is trying to find some sort of hit right here. Oh, here it comes! Oh, and Quaz does get hit by it. It is a grab, so even though he was shielding, this is going to hit. But is it going to kill, though? I'm not sure. Oh, I think it is. I think that is game right there. Yep, there we go. Lazy takes it 2-1 over Quaz. Ending his streak right there. First loss of the day, but Quaz walking off. But anyway, good stuff from both players. Really nice stuff from Lazy. Really solid and pulling on stuff coming out right there. Really hope to see... Hope, really hope we get to see some more from him today. All right, everyone, we're heading to the next game here. Angelo versus Pikachu. I wonder who Pikachu is going to play. I wonder what character. It's going to be a mystery. Both of these players are pretty new from what I can tell. So we're going to be seeing some new players trying out the game, which, of course, we're very, very supportive of. That's the whole point of this bracket here. The amateur brackets are always good for new players. So try it out. No real risk to it. It's always a good time for everyone. But anyway, hopping into this game here. We have Lucario versus Pikachu. Called it. Um... Let's see here. So, not quite sure about this matchup. Both these characters have very, very even matchup spreads where they don't really lose to many other characters. So, not quite sure how they deal with other uh, with each other. Pikachu, uh, both these characters are very like standard. Um, have like very really excel in neutral and stuff like that. So, let's see how they can really utilize it. Both very like balanced characters. Let's see what we can see from them. Any combos or stuff like that. Let's see. All right. Nice use of JX there by Pikachu. Trying to find some combo opportunities with his Y attacks. Okay. Oh, here comes a combo. Six white into 8x. Did not get the uh, follow up afterwards, though. Okay. Ooh, does get the forward white uh, follow up right there. Oh, now Angela getting a bone rush setup right here. But PQ right in the corner. Oh, okay, so Nuzzle not quite working, but Bone Rush able to snag that hit right there. Nah, not able to combo quite, though. Oh, in the counter, okay. Oh, there we go, that 6 white able to snag that last hit right there. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. We're going into this next round here. Both players are going to be going into with it with their full synergy burst ready to go. Okay, so here we are. PQQ trying to throw out some JYs right now. Throwing in some. Nice with the JX right there. Angel not able to shield in time. 
nice counter by PQ. It's not gonna follow up though. Here comes Reshi Ram though. Uh, set up a situation where. Oh, okay. So P Andrei able to burst right away out of it. All right. Going some attacks here. But now PQ going into his burst. Gonna use it right away, and he's gonna catch Andrei right there. He's gonna be doing some mad damage. But PQ does not have a very powerful burst. It still does a sizable amount of damage. I mean, burst attack damage is burst attack damage, but compared to other characters, Pikachu does not do a whole lot of damage. But the trade is that he gets it probably the fastest in the game next to Channel Mewtwo. Alright, nice jumping out of all Pikachu's options. Alright, nice jumping here, avoiding all P uh, Pikachu's attacks. Oh, but Air failed to snag right there. Pikachu not messing around anymore. Alright, here comes the combo. Bone Rush into Bone Rush. Oh, now he gets the third Bone Rush though. Oh, there it is. It's just hiding a little bit. We want to save him really. All right, another bone rush here. Can Angel do it? Oh, oh, nice combo from Pika uh, Q. Able to snag that last hit right there. But Angel almost making it happen. Almost made it work right there, but Pika Q denying the comeback right there. Alrighty, going into this next game here. No changes from either player. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if Andrew can really um, follow through with what she saw right there. She's starting to get some good stuff in. You right? All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. People are trying to trigger me. All right. Sorry about that. Um. Alright, so Angela doing some nice damage right here. PQQ down in health right now. Alright. Nice damage right now. Angela getting some nice hits in right now. Okay, so PQ does have his burst ready to go whenever he needs it. And he might need it here. He's getting pretty well in health. Oh, does not get the true combo right there. He's taking 8x's and 6y's. Angela not able to get her shield up in time. All right, nice use of her jumps, trying to get out, baiting out something from PQ. All right, able to avoid the thunder and get the bone rush punish right there. All right, here comes Cresselia. He's gonna get some health back right now. Oh, that's a nice answer, and with the iron tail. There's thunder. Oh, there's nuzzle, and... Oh, not yet. The phase change is gonna save Angel right there. 2 HP! Oh, and there we go. That's gonna snag right there. PQ winning that first round. Alrighty, so now both players are gonna be going in with a full synergy gauge. So make sure, uh, Angel and PQ gotta really wanna make sure they can take advantage of that situation. Okay. Oh, there's a nice combo into Nuzzle going into this field phase. Or going to this dual phase. Here comes Reshi Ram from PQ. It's going to connect. Oh, there's a nice shield by Angel. He can't if you counter that. Oh, try CDC, but oh, that's a crit nuzzle into a combo situation. Oh, PQ not getting much off of it. Alright. So now Burst Lucario coming out to play. Nice, nice, um, extreme speed. Oh, wow, that grab actually worked out. Okay. And that's a punish right there. Oh, nice damage right there. This is going to be good, some good stuff right here. All right, how much is he doing? He's going to be sitting on a lot. A huge, huge, awesome health right there. Here comes the Molga. All right, so Pikachu using his nice um, synergy. Oh, able to shield it. Okay, Andrew's still in this. All right, and there we go. All right. Oh, and there's Thunder right there. PQQ work making it work out. Beating Angel 2-0, but the crowd around here was very hyped for that match right there. It's a good stuff from both players. Glad to, make, glad to see it was pretty close between them.
I'm gonna be using it. All right, guys, we're going into the next game here. Lazy versus H-Bear. So Lazy going to be pulling out that tried and true Empoleon, most likely. Which I'm very, very excited to see. This Empoleon has been doing some good work. Um, it's able to beat Quads, who's a big threat in our term, uh, in our, this bracket earlier. So let's see if you can take out H-Bear. Anyway, let's see if H-Bear can make it work out. She's been doing some nice damage with her attacks before. But Lazy, though, he knows his neutral. He knows his punishes. So let's see how this works out. Okay. Oh god, I love that opening animation. It's so cool. And Polyon's a really cool character. It's, just, it's a little bit disappointing to see not a lot of people play him. But still a very, very uh, um, interesting character and very powerful too in, in the right hand. Nice Ice Beam to start it off right now. Alright. Oh, there's a grab right there, banging out a like counter. Lazy in some nice, nice damage right there. Not letting H Break get an attack in right now. He's doing so much damage. Oh, okay, so here we go. Some nice counter damage right there. Oh, okay, so that Electro Web is going to connect. It's going to be a crit as well. Cause a phase change. Alright, here comes double team getting some nice work in. And he's going to go for the burst. And that's going to hit. Okay, so that grab is going to get a grab it right there. I believe H-Bear was shielding it. Alright, and there we go. That's going to do some nice damage right there. H-Bear, not in a good situation right now. Alright. Oh, go straight in with Aqua Jet. Oh, forward wife snack hitting right there. Here comes Sylveon, get that defense up. Oh, nice, able to avoid that just by uh, taking a step back. And there's Aqua Jet, snack that victory right there. Lazy, pretty commanding lead right now. Playing that first round very solidly. Okay, so hopping into this next round here. Oh, he's gonna be using that umbrella. It could be very useful when H-Bear gets right in his face. And now with those sidewise, H-Bear not using her block enough. And there we go, gets the um, Ice Beam able to get the Hydro Cannon follow-up. Ooh, there we go, that is going to connect, gonna lead to a combo. All right. Oh, so many eight wise from H-Bear, but eventually it worked out. Here comes Umbreon, gonna take away some synergy and of course make no crits happen anymore. Alright, H Bear throwing out some attacks here. Oh, not falling for the Electro Web right there. Oh, nice nice knowledge of the spacing of that counter right there, able to avoid it. Oh, it's gonna be some nice damage here. H Bear throwing out some attacks. Oh, here's a counter right there. Oh, excellent timing from Lazy, able to grab the burst activation right there. All right, Lazy does have his own burst. He is going to hold and use it. All right. All right. Oh, not able to hit the. Oh, is this gonna hit? Oh, okay. So, yep. Uh, quick attack is able to snag that hit right there. Oh, yeah, he's using light armor there, and able to take that with uh, um, the surf followed right there. Lazy winning the first game very, very solidly. We're going into game two here. Let's see if there's gonna be any changes, or if the, these players are gonna be stick to their guns on their supports and stuff. Let's see. All right, looks like we're gonna be staying to with what, what we got. Okay. Here we go. Lazy gonna use that Espeon first round. That's a very smart choice. Espeon charges faster. And when he um when he's using his cheat, I guess his support all char charge all the way for the second round. It's important to use your fast support first and then your soul support so you can really take advantage of that support um full charge. Okay. So Aqua Jet is not gonna get a combo the surf though. Alright. Oh, there's the electro web mix up right there. Gonna do some nice damage. And the speed debuff is really gonna be important. Because Napoleon actually is the slowest character in the game. And with that speed debuff, it only makes it even worse. Alright. Oh, okay, so Ace Bird throwing out some nice, nice damaging attacks right now. Espeon coming out. Alright, nice waterfall follow up.
All right, nice countering through that. Um, a quick attack right there. Comboing with the 2Y into Aqua Jet Waterfall. Nice stuff right there. All right. Oh, okay, nice clash right there. Lazy just making good, uh, staying away from that burst right there. And here comes, able to get shielded by Lazy. Oh, miss space grab right there. And that is going to be it, I believe. Yep, right there. Okay, so Ace Ray takes that first round. All right, so now Umbreon is going to be ready to go. So now Lazy is going to be able to utilize that if things get a little bit scary. All right, double spark always works. Here comes Umbreon. All right, take away some nice, um, good amount of synergy right there. And of course, no crits anymore for H Bear. Oh, I'm not holding a counter long enough. All right, here comes. And? Oh, tries to go for Surf right there. Not able to beat out the counter. Oh, that is a confirm. It's a rock. Okay, goes for Rock Smash instead of the burst. All right, I, I can agree with that. You want to hold on to it so he can use it very, very well. All right, so now H Bear. Oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. Be oh, what? Oh my god. So actually, so the bounce from um, Spark actually saved H Bear. They're putting her in the air momentarily to avoid the crab. That is ridiculous. That's, that's, that's nuts. All right. Anyway, H Bear taking that second game. All right. All right, here we go. All right, going to game three here. Let's see if H Bear can keep up this momentum or if is going to take it back like he did that first game. All right, let's see. All right, here we go, game three. This is anyone's game, really. Both players, when they won, they had a very dominating game. So let's see who takes this third game. Oh, Spark got able to hit there with those counter frames. Oh, grab not gonna work out. This is gonna be a crit, hit, crit started combo from H Bear. I think with 8Y. Oh, okay, that back Y, I believe that is. Did not quite work out. Oh, H Bear just getting so many hits here. Well, here we go. Combo here from Lazy. It's a cut. So that's a nice situation. Oh, it does punish Spark. From the character though, and is gonna get some nice damage and a face change. Right, Lazy has a long way to go here. Ooh, Ali has a counter through Spark. Nestor gonna give him a little bit of help. Oh, here comes the Aqua Jet level three. Gonna have some nice follow ups right there. And that's a grab right there, resetting this back to field phase. Lazy taking his lead back. All right, here comes Burst though from Ace This could mean the difference. All right. Lazy just staying true with his shield. Ooh, that's a crit right there. Ending with Surf. Now H Bear's on her last legs. So beyond happening here. And here comes Lazy activating his own burst. Really, really wants to get this. And there we go. It's going to connect right there. All right, here we go. That's going to be it. Lazy taking the first round. But he did have to use his burst to do it. So he's going to be going into his next game here without his burst. Well, H Bear's going to be saying a nice amount on her own. So he's not going to be able to probably get a whole lot out of it this game, this round here, unless he can get charged in one game. Oh, instant Umbreon usage, able to knock her out of that spark. Alright, Aqua Jet going to be able to hit there. Oh, is he playing it nice and safe? I guess the Ice Beam does not go for the follow-up though. He's trying to coax. Alright. Oh, actually cancel out of right there. Alright. Waterfall this time. Lazy in a nice lead right now. But Sylveon is really going to help out. Oh, no grab right there for Lazy. And now HP is going to get some combos. He doesn't follow through with it, though. Oh, Quick Attack actually beating out Octa. Oh, and there is a nice Electro left there. And now Lazy's going to have to deal with that speed debuff, which can really, really hurt. Oh, it doesn't matter, though. He's going to use the side and forward Y. Make it work out in his favor. Oh, nice countering through the Hydro Cannon. Alright, nice combo from H Bear. But now Lazy does have his uh, Synergy Burst ready to go, and he's gonna go ahead and use it. Okay. I can create that. Alright, game goes in with that Aqua Jet. And there's the burst. Oh, and H Bear did shield. And is this gonna kill? I don't think it's gonna kill. I think it only does about 190. It might. H Bear might be loving this. Let's see. Oh, and just enough. Lazy gonna w take that right there. 2 1 over H Bear right there. Good stuff. I'm really, really liking this Empoleon. Um, 
do it doing some nice stuff, nice um, solid spacing, nice safe options, and nice mix-ups. Really, really do like it. So let's see. So, but anyway, good stuff still to HBR. Really put up a good fight. But Slazy is gonna take that win right there. Alrighty, here we go. Going into this last game here, we have Quaz versus Game Genie. Here we go. So let's see how this works out here. Both these players have been doing pretty well on their in their brackets. This is gonna be their first interaction here. So let's see. We have the set tile versus the Machamp. So this is gonna be some good stuff. Quaz is of course known for getting his big damage out, and Game Genie has some really nice combos, some really nice setups, where he goes with his traps. So let's see who's going to be the victor here. It could be either one here. Okay. So let's see. Alright. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so now we're picking our characters here. Quaz going, of course, the standard, the one we we the one we love, the good old Machamp. Alright. Okay. So we're here. Let's see here. I'm really, really excited to see this match. Um, both these players have shown up in our tournaments before. They've been doing good stuff for a while now. So let's see. Let's see who can do this. There's some trash talk from both of them. It's it's all in good fun. These two players have been having a great time, so let's see. Let's see who's gonna come out on top here, though. Okay. Let's see. So waiting for Game G. It looks like to pick his support. Okay. Alrighty, hopping into the game here. Alright, the champ versus Septile. Alrighty, let's see who's gonna come out on top here. Quaz, of course, guys, has big damage stuff. Game Genie has his fancy combos. Let's see who makes it work out here. Oh, nice use of the flash kick right there. Snag out that JX. Alright, of course, Genji going in some fancy combos. I've seen him practice all this stuff. He's doing good stuff. Oh, goes for the ghost combo preemptively on shield. That is a big punch. Let's see if Genji is able to do here. Nice stuff. <laughs> able to walk straight through that least one. Actually, has no hit stun. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh, it gets a defense debuff with the toxic. Alright, nice with the Giga Drain, do some good damage right there. Genji really, really likes the Giga Drain setups. Um, really likes mixing it up with it. Oh, okay, hanging, wait, waiting, he's just waiting for uh, Quaz to do something. Oh, okay, so he went for Leaf Storm, but Quaz went for the Grab Crush, the Adag did some huge damage. <laughs> Goes with the long screen submission, doesn't cancel it, because why not? 
and TMG uh, win that first game in there. Quad's getting a little bit risky, but who knows? Sometimes those risks will work out in his favor, like when we beat that Leaf Storm. Right. Let's see, okay, so game teams. Space him out. Nice, he's a flash kick. Oh, they're actually not able to get the debuff on that Umbreon, unfortunately, for um, Game Genie. Oh, here comes the burst, so <laughs> Quaz again going for the ADAC. Oh my god, what a god. Alright, again, ADAC, so many ADACs, and. Oh, able to punch a little bit. And goes for the first call. He's gonna get shielded by Quaz. <laughs> okay, go for the full screen for mission. This man has no fear. Nice bullet seed. Nice testing the waters. Game is really, really good at that. It's like checking and like throwing out little attacks, trying to see what the opponent's gonna do. Alright, Quaz does up. Ooh, nice heavy slam right there, being at the air approach. <laughs> goes for 8x so many times. He's been going for that. It's great. Alright. Some of these submissions, just trying to get it close. Oh, and there's cross shot. All right, here comes Umbreon. Game Genie is trying to create some distance. Oh, but the rocks able to snag that last hit right there. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Last. Last round here for this set. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's something else that's going on right behind my back. Anyway. Oh, nice leaf storm by Game Genie. Not having that aerial approach. Game Genie just playing it nice and safe this round. Nice damage. And the Giga Drain follow up. Oh, uh, Game is gonna go ahead and use his burst. Oh, okay, denied the perfect and armoring through that karate chop, and that is going to take that. Game is gonna be taking the first game right here over Quaz. All right, that's going to be the first game there for Game Genie. Let's see if Quaz can bring this back, or is Game Genie gonna be keeping it up here? Alrighty, here we go. Going to this next game here.
Okay, here we go. We're getting, we're getting a character, uh, not character, may not character change, but support change going on right now. Let's see. But let's play some doing some good stuff. We're gonna go into game three, so we're gonna be seeing one last game for him. Alright. Let's see. Quad's gonna be sticking sticking true to his support set. Alright, so sticking to sub -tabble. let's see what changes happened here. Let's see, he was running uh, what was he running before? I forget. Was it it might it was Umbreon, right. So let's see what he pulled out this time. So instead of Umbreon, what's he gonna be what is Game Gene gonna be using? He was telling me he found some Wadios combos. Okay, he's gonna be using Cresselia. Alright, that's a nice set. Um can do some nice HP cut, uh, get some nice HP and synergy boosts. Giga drains and such. Oh, a bit missed time. Oh, we well, still not able to work out. Claws and up those attacks and beating it. Oh, not able to keep that damage. There's Giga Drain right there. Claws, uh, Claws is really, really hurting right now. Frogger Deer. Oh, able to save uh, Claws in that dangerous situation. And there's a submission right there, or this is gonna throw things right into uh, Quaz's favor right now. Not able to put him in the lead, but really help him get some momentum back. Oh, okay, so multiple hits of JX able to snag him out of the counter. J. Okay. Alright, Game Genie just. Oh, this is gonna be doing some damage right now. Let's just keep Quaz away. He is in the HP lead, he might be going for the timeout. Which is, a, which is a strategy, that's something I will applaud. Um, because sometimes it's, it's not worth going for that kill, but oh, a flashing throw is gonna snag it right there. AG gonna go in with his first, ready to go into this next round here. Let's see if Quad's gonna be able to combat it, or if Andy's gonna be able to take this. Ooh, okay, so those bullet seeds are able to connect. Like I said, Game is trap game. It's able to set so many projectiles and Quaz Fall is absolutely impressive and able to capitalize off of as well. A nice combo here from Quaz. Ooh, Reshiram coming out. This is, I think, going to trade. Let's see. Oh, yep, that's big damage and the attack debuff really does mean a lot onto Quaz right now. Alright, she's done some nice damage. Ooh, okay, so. Ingrain actually able to work out. I've never seen anyone actually pull the full version off in the set. Oh, we sort of barely missed time. That could cost Game Genie a lot right now. Oh, he doesn't make a set tile though. This could be... Oh, goes ahead and uses the burst right away, but is going to get shielded by Quaz. Man! Oh, Dragon Breath not able to finish it off quite yet. Quaz has just a little bit more HP. Just one last hit though is going to take it from him. Quaz making it hard to get in. Now Quaz has his burst ready to go. Is this the reversal he needs? He's still incredibly close to death. Oh! Oh, that's it! Okay, Quaz is gonna be taking this into round three. Here we go. He's not out until the game tells him he's out. Okay. Here we go. Final round. Game three. Here we go. Let's see who's gonna be able to take this win here. It could be either of them. Let's see, so Quaz does have the synergy lead right now over Game Genie. Game Genie does have pressure on the back. If he can get that attack debuff on, it's going to be really hard for Quaz to do a whole lot of damage. Alright, right here. Okay, so I'm not able to connect right there. Game Genie just needs a nice space and keeps the Giga Drain. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but damage is damage. And of course, it also heals Game Genie while it's at it, so that's always helpful. Oh man, Paul is right into that leech seed. Oh, oh man, such nice trap placement by Game Genie. Paul is having a hard time getting his footing. Landing on the ground is difficult. Here comes Reshi Ren. This is gonna be an interesting interaction. Who's gonna win this? 
Oh, Russian Ram is going to get in time right before the forward Y, canceling out the EV buff. Oh, Quaz doesn't have his burst out of the right. He's gonna have to use that. Without it, it's gonna be in a very tight situation. Oh man, Game Genie in the bad situation. Is that it? That's a confirm, but is it gonna kill? Scaling is a thing. Oh, I think Game Genie's gonna be living here. Ooh, okay, so he has a little bit of HP left. Oh, and the JX snagging that right there. Quaz gonna be taking it. 2 1. Alright, accidentally unplugs the controller in the pop off there. Good stuff from both players. Oh my god, that was a nice set. That was a really, really nice set. Good stuff to Game Genie. He did a really, really nice job, but Quaz able to snag those comebacks. All right, so we're gonna be hopping into the top four here of the bracket. Um, the winners of the Swiss, top four of the Swiss are gonna be advancing into a single elimination bracket. We have Quaz, Lazy, Pikachu, and, okay, hang on one second, I'm gonna go check. All right, so it's Lazy, Pikachu, Quaz, and Capserno. All right, so let's see who's gonna be snagging this victory here. All right, so we're going to be getting into this first match, Pikachu versus Laser. You're going to be seeing Pikachu versus Empoleon. Let's see who's going to be able to work this out. Lazy has been really doing some solid work with his Empoleon, but and of course earned his spot into the top four. Then again, so did Pikachu. Some nice Pikachu play and combos. Let's see who's going to be able to snag this victory out here, though. All right. All righty. Let's see here. All right, sorry guys, I have to do a little bit of maintenance here. We're gonna hop into this match here. We're gonna be seeing some good stuff. These are some of the top players that have participated in the tournament here. So we're gonna be seeing some good play here. Pikachu was able to get some nice Pikachu combos that we saw on stream earlier. And again, Lazy has some really, really nice neutral game and punish game. Really nice use of being able to back away and get up close with Aqua Jet and Ice Beams. So let's see how this all works out. Really excited to see this. Is a single elimination though, so if they get if they lose just once, that is sadly going to be it for them. So this is kind of a do or die situation now. They can't afford to lose. Anyway. 
here we go here. Let's see, I don't know a single thing about this matchup because Empoleon's not very popular character, so people don't know exactly how to combat him or how he works against other characters. So let's see. Let's see how BQ can really work with this. Pikachu, of course, has a very solid, balanced, all-around character. So he probably has the tools to deal with all of um, Empoleon's pressure. But let's see if PQ can really utilize that or if Blaze is gonna Alright, sorry about that guys, Mike was off, my bad. But anyway, that was a nice, nice stuff from Lazy right there. Okay, so Aqua Jetting over the over the Thunderbolt. I didn't know that was a thing until this tournament. Uh, until this round. So let's see if um PQ's gonna be able to adjust to that or if Boys is gonna be able to keep capitalizing on it. Oh, Rush Ram gonna be able to beat out right there. I'm sorry about the background noise guys, this tournament going on behind us. People are getting hyped. Anyways, so here we go. Umbreon gonna create some distance right now. Or he's gonna have to set up some walls right now. Oh, going in with the pressure. Grab not gonna work out though. PQ just throwing out some pokes right now. Here comes Burst Empoleon and Burst Pikachu. Oh, BQ uses his preemptively is not gonna combo. Alright. Gonna throw some ice beams out, trying to get some chip going in right now. Oh, and there it is, Aqua Jet into first as it confirms it's gonna be doing a good amount of damage. But well, LBQ is gonna be holding on though. And that's also a confirm, so. Alright, so. Well, he's just trying to find some last hits right here. BQ really does not have a lot of HP to work with, has to be a little bit careful, but he's going straight in. Oh, whoa, that was an interesting interaction. Alright. Oh, Iron Tail gonna be able to do this. Is this the opportunity that... Whoa! Okay. Very, very nice timing by Lazy. That was very, very dangerous, but PQ just barely missed the 6Y. And Lazy, able to abuse that, able to take that first game. Alright. Okay, going to this next game here. PQ really having a hard time against Empoleon. So let's see how this all works out here. Is Lazy gonna be able to keep up his reign? Or make it work out? <laughs> Man, the Jenga tournament behind me is going crazy right now. Alright. Alrighty, here we go. So into this next. So, Alright, so. Oh, Lazy getting some nice damage off the bat here into Surf. So much damage for the first skill phase. And getting a crit grab as well. Here we go. Okay, nice shield break right there. Take away some Sanger Burst. Here comes Reshi Ram. 
All right. Here we are. All right, this is gonna be a very, very scary situation for Lazy. Umbreon, nice to avoid the thunder. Okay, so here we go. Nuzzle crit right there. Okay. Oh, there's the Aqua Jet. Gotta go ahead and go for the confirm. Okay. Yep. Okay, so this is gonna be some very, very solid damage right here. Okay, but of course, Lazy's still got. Lazy's not gonna be able to knock him out quite yet. Yeah, PQ has about 200 HP to work with. Okay. Alright. Lazy's. Uh. Going straight in. Okay, snagging that right up phase. Oh, gets the defog. Alright, here comes the first from PQ. Oh, and that is not gonna be able to connect right there. Oh, combo here though. Is it gonna be enough? Oh, not quite. Oh, there's a thunder though. Alright, PQ able to snag around right there. Let's see though if Lazy can bring us back or is PQ gonna come make this comeback here? Let's see. Okay, I see not gonna be able to work out. It's very laggy, so it's able to be punished. Oh, nice ice beam. Just testing the waters. And able to confirm into a hydro cannon afterwards. Right, here comes Cresselia. Give him some health and some synergy. Oh, able to combo into Aqua Jet and cut to end it. Umbreon coming out from the ship and sick. Comboing into 5x to end it off. Oh, but here comes first. Think you're gonna go into his own as well. It's gonna be a battle of the bursts. And oh, not able to connect. Not that long reach. And that's the first confirmed, but I don't think that's gonna be it yet. That synergy defense is gonna be helping PQ quite a bit. I'm pretty sure PQ is gonna be living this. But let's see. Oh. Uh, oh, it's only a little bit of HP left, but PQ can still do this. Rage, rage can help him bring it back. And there we go. Lazy able to snag the victory right there. 2-0 over PQ and advancing himself in this bracket here. So we're gonna be heading off into the next game here. Let's see who's gonna be playing. I think it's gonna be Quaz and Catsetto, I think that's the name. Something like that. But anyway, so really, really nice match right there from both players. Really, really liking that employee on that lazy probably and really hope we can see more from him in our um, Nebraska Pokemon scene. All right, so we're gonna have Quaz versus Cap Cerno here in this next game. All right. And here comes the challenger. All right. So let's see. Okay. So Quaz versus Capserno. I actually haven't seen anything from Capserno yet. I haven't seen any games from him personally. So let's see how this actually turns out for him. All righty. All right, getting into this next game here. Really, really excited to see. I have not seen um, anything from Capsterno, so I want to see. I want to see some stuff from him. He definitely, obviously, had to have done a lot of good stuff to be able to get into this far. Let's see if Quaz is gonna be able to keep his, uh, uh, keep his train going, or is Capsterno gonna beat him? Let's see how that all works out. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties, but all righty. All right, we'll be right back. One second. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, we're in here. All right. All right, we're hopping in here. All right. So we're going to have, I get, 
another another Pikachu up here, and we're gonna have versus Machamp. All right, I believe this is a positive matchup for Machamp. So this could be a little bit hard for Captain but let's see what he's got in the, in store for Quaz. See if he's gonna be able to overcome Machamp's insane damage. All right, here we go. Oh, I have to hit the first time with that. <laughs> All right. Oh, not able to get the cry chop afterwards, but Claws has him in a dangerous situation, and there's the 8x right there. Okay. All right, nice home attack from Capsterno, but does not fall through the last hit. But able to nicely dash around with those um, forward wise. All right. Oh, not able to combo off that 6y, though. And there's the combo that Quaz has been doing this whole tournament. JX, 6y. Not, not 6y, 8y. Close combat. Oh, Frog Deer actually messing up that homing attack. Oh, unfortunately. That couldn't be actually quite a bit. Let's see if Kassero can uh, capitalize on that. Oh, shielding in between. Combo time. Oh, not able to finish it off, though. Oh, and there's a grab mix up. And there we go. He's able to take that round right there. It's interesting, Frog Deer might actually cost Quaz that round. Unfortunate. Okay. Well, let's see here. Capsterno has his burst ready to go when he needs it. Let's see how he's going to be able to deal against Quaz. Okay. Oh, nice lane that JX. Nice hits right there. And there's the close combat follow up right there. Quaz got to put some big damage on the board right now. Frog is going to help him set up this field fake. Oh, Shuck some boulders at him. Combos. Oh, not able to finish off the combo right there. Oh, attack though. Captain in a really dangerous position. He might want to be using his burst right now. Oh, okay. Gets a combo off. Oh, and able to get out of that JX. Oh, this is a very, very scary situation for Captain Up. But still make it work. Is he going to get another comeback? Without even using his burst? Oh, does not get the grab right there. The quad's able to snag that. Alright, Cassandra really, really needs to be using his burst right now. If we can really, really help out with his damage output. Okay, Quaz still hasn't been using his burst either. So maybe he's waiting for Quaz to use his and use his on the action. Oh, Jay White is going to be able to connect. Do a lot of damage on his own, but no follow-ups after it. Oh, nice JX right there. Able to hit with that counter. Nice cry chop combo right there, doing some good solid damage. And now Castor is gonna be going into the burst. He's done playing around. Alright. Trying to find opportunities. And here comes the burst right here. He's gonna get shielded by Quads, but he's gonna do some nice chip damage. Alright, here comes the burst stuff from Quads. He's just waiting for us to go into duel. Alright. Oh, is this a combo? Oh it drops it, unfortunately. Oh, this is gonna be scary here. All right, oh, Captain in a really, really bad situation. And there we go, Machamp. Gotta you know, snag that last hit with that homing attack. Well, it's gonna be winning the first game. Okay, here we go. All right, hopping into the next game. Can Quaz keep up this momentum? Is Capsterno gonna be, oh, it looks like Capsterno's gonna be switching some stuff around here. Let's see what he pulls out. Could be a character change, could be a support change. Really excited to see what happens. All right, and we're going Blaziken. Okay, here we go. This is one of my favorite matchups to watch because it can be just incredibly explosive. Like both these characters can just switch around momentum so quickly. Always keeps you on your toes, especially because considered a huge damage output. Of course, Capsterno does have to be aware that he does hurt himself whenever he uses an A attack. That's one of the downsides to Blaziken. So he has to be a little bit mindful of that and be careful with what moves he uses. Oh, that's going to connect. Oh, not able to combo off of it, however. Oh, not falling victim to the submission. Nice grab, makes up right there. Very good sub, okay. Right, Capsterno, oh, risky high jump kick, not gonna work out. Oh, actually using 2x to go under Quas's high attacks. Comboing off of the 5x. Nice damage right there. Quas are really, really looking down on his HP right now. Capsterno in a huge lead. Oh, nice 2x, able to combo the blaze kick. Oh, this is gonna be good damage. This could be a reverse from, from Quaz. 
Oh, not I have a combo off the, the heavy side. Oh, risky. Um, high jump kick, and that's a punish. Not quite. Oh, but the grab though is gonna be able to snag that. All right, Capsterno really, really making a nice, nice change here. Wayskin's really, really helping him out. Alrighty. Ooh, nice JX right there, gonna be able to hit, get some hits in. Nice damage going on right here. Alright. Quad's really, really take, get his revenge back right now. Quad here coming out to play. Oh, able to combo into it, from into the JX. That's interesting. Oh, here comes a 2x combo right though. Not, isn't doing the enhanced plays case. That's something that could be really, really helpful. And is that it? Not quite yet. If that was full cool that definitely would have. Nice high jump kick. Alrighty. And is this gonna connect? Oh, not quite. Unfortunate. And Quad's gonna be able to punch with his own burst. Alright, and that is going to be it right there. Quad's gonna be playing that round right there. King Capsurno still pull this out though. If not, Quad's gonna be taking this victory 2-0. Alrighty. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see. Oh, Quad's able to get hit in right there. It'll combo into the close combat right there. Here comes Dragonite out to play. Put some nice big keep away game right there. Oh, does not pop up into submission. Oh man, trying to go for some grabs right there, really not working out in his favor. Quad's in a really nice situation. Oh, and there we go, that heavy slam. It'll take that game. Capserno, unfortunately, knocked out here. Quad's gonna be taking that 2 0, and we're gonna be advancing in this single elimination bracket right here. All right, guys, it's gonna be. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be going into this next game. Gonna be Pikachu versus Capsterno. We're not done seeing Capsterno yet. We're gonna be seeing this Pikachu come back here from Pikachu. I wonder if we're gonna, if we're gonna see a Pikachu Ditto, or if we're gonna be seeing Pikachu versus Blaziken, or even another character. Capsterno could be holding some stuff out uh, back for us. Never know what's gonna be coming in store here. Alrighty. Alrighty, here we go into this next game here. So looks like Pikachu is going his traditional Pikachu. Let's see what Captain Cerno brings out though. I'm really interested to see what, what characters he can pull out. Well, we want to see some more from that boys again. He was doing some good stuff with it. And we're seeing Sceptile. Okay, this is a new one. This is a new one. Okay, let's see what the Sceptile can do. We've been seeing some stuff from Game Day, so we can see what Sceptile can do. Let's see what, I wonder if Captain Cerno can do some similar stuff here. Okay, here we go. I'm using Cresselia. Not as good as it used to be in the previous versions of the game, but Cresselia still can be strong. Alright, looks like Capsterno just trying to find some moves to throw out here. Pikachu though, throwing out some nice attacks. A nice 6 wide there, finishing off that combo. Very strong right there. Capsterno really, really hurting right now. Well, this, could be, this is going to be a combo situation, but oh, not able to get it. The grab not quite working out in his favor. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, no grab that time either. 
You're just throwing out so many attacks right now. All right. Could be bad. Oh, and that Thunderbolt able to snag that win right there. PQ in a very dominating lead right now. Okay. Here we go. Next round here. I think that Cerno might have, um, might not have, um, won the success. I was really not quite working out his favor. Not, it was a fine thing success he had with his previous character. Let's see. Oh, Pressure Man coming out to play. So much this is going to be doing. Alrighty. Here comes Pikachu's first. Oh, not able to connect it. It's going to get shielded in time. Nice TDC there from Capserno. Oh, here we go. This is a combo situation. Able to finish off with another 6 fly. Ah, oh, Capserno just taking so much damage right now. Cannot get in on this Pikachu. Oh, his honey attack could be what he needs to get his momentum going. Does have his burst ready to go. Needs to be using it. Combo? Oh, not quite. That was the attack out of it. Here comes burst set out. though. Alright. PQ able to block that burst, though. Oh, it's going to be big damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, Castro almost bringing this back. Can he do it? Can he finish the job? Oh, the light armor helping Capserno out so much right there. Able to snap that victory from the brink of death, but now Capserno does not have that burst to fall back on. Well, Pikachu is going to have it in spades right now. Here we are now. <laughs> I don't even know what attack that is. I almost really see that. Yet. All right. So now both players just try playing the spacing here. Good rushy ram. Kept center up. Better be shielding. All right. Able to avoid it. Still some that push action can be helpful in some ways. Oh, playing some damage right there. He really getting hurt right now. Man, okay, this set is now working out. Really Captain is on TQ right now. Oh, here comes the combo though. It's a burst call. Oh, not getting grabbed right there. And... Oh, it will be shielded there. Captain is still in this. Alright. Oh, this could be it. Oh, not quite yet. Captain is still living right now. Oh, and the thunder right there on the second hit right there. Some that gets added on in burst mode. But they're not able to capitalize on that and does get beat out right there in that first game. All right, let's see. Capsule are gonna be doing a character change right here. I wonder who's gonna be playing this time. Changing characters every single game. Let's see who he picks out. Really excited to see him. But I like him experimenting with other characters. Always good to keep your a character pool broad. Uh, cause single yourself to one character can really hurt you sometimes. Alright, we're going back to the blaze again. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright, Peak you can't hear, but Peak Hugh is putting up a show right now. <laughs> It's good stuff. All right, here we go. He's hyped. He's having a great time. It's always good. It's all for us. This is all for fun. Okay, so now. Okay, here we go. Speaking of doing some thunderbolts right now. All right, nice thunderbolt right there. Captain are really, really having a hard time getting in. The high jump kick is getting some north Soul damage on him. He has to be a little bit careful with that. Alright. Alright, though, this is not going to be good for Capserno right now. Oh man, PQ with those 8 Ys. Oh, high jump kick missing. PQ getting that last hit right there, doing some good damage. Capserno really having a hard time doing his own, though. Okay, that's gonna hurt right there into the nuzzle. Do some good damage. It's not combo off, but you can do a thunder after. 
All right, here comes Mega Blaziken though. Rush around coming out the play. Gonna be even if it doesn't land on the hit, it's gonna push him back and have to have to approach all over again. And there's the first card right away. It's gonna be able to connect. All right, now, and there's the burst from Capserno. That is going to connect. He's gonna do a really, really solid man there, and also give Capserno a nice ease up as well. All right. Nice damage going out right here. Wave gonna be able to connect. Oh, not gonna work off of it though. Oh, this could be it. Oh no, wait, the attack buff might be affecting things here. Oh, this is scary for Capserno. And that's how it is for Pikachu. He's on the last leg. Oh, but there's a little second, second, third away from homing attack. Is able to connect. All right, Capserno. Uh, he has on match point, but uh, Capserno could win this and go take this game three, or Pikachu could take this and win 2-0 here. Let's see what happens. Winner of this will be crowned third place in our tournament here. So let's see who's getting this. Oh, Pikachu getting some nice combos off. Oh, not able to finish it though. Here, here comes Burst Blaziken and goes for the first attack. Right, Reshi Ram coming out. This, oh? Uh? Oh, I don't know how this is gonna, oh, Burst Attack actually going straight through Reshi Ram. Okay. All right. Oh, that is a burst attack right there. This is going to be doing some solid damage to Capserno. No, a lot though. He's going to be living on 133, but still in the red right now. Capserno is going to have to be playing his A game right now to win this out. All right. All righty. Oh, okay. Nice, nice eight right there by PQ. And there's the nuzzle, is that it? Not quite yet, one HP left. Oh, and there we go. All right, PQ winning that set right there, 2-0. And with that, he is gonna be getting the bronze medal here in our match here. But now, here we go. Gonna be going into our last game here. Quads versus Lazy. This is the deciding game. Who's gonna be getting first and second here? Winner of this next set here is gonna be winning our coveted Pokémon Tournament controller, the Hori Pad. Let's see who's going to be taking it home. Alright, so here we go. We're going to be going into this next last match here. Quaz versus Lazy. We're going to be doing Machamp and Empoleon here. Alrighty. Here we are going to this last match here. Really excited to see this. These two actually played off earlier in the earlier in the tournament in which Lazy was able to snag the victory. Well let's see if Quas can get his revenge. Alrighty, here we go. Quas versus Lazy, here we go. Alright, so this is going to be our last match here. This is going to be a best of five game here. Quaz versus Lazy. Winner of this will win our coveted Pokemon Tournament controller here. And be crowned first place at the Extra Life Amateur Bracket. Oh, laying that JY. Oh, not able to get the second one though, but I like the effort. Ooh, sir, follow up. Not going to work out. Nice counter there from Empoleon. Oh, Lazy not get taken those 8x's. Oh, nice cross shot right there. It's kind of a slow move, but still, like, sometimes it, it can move really fast. It can, you just don't see it coming. It's kind of an interesting move in that sense where you know it's slow, but you still can get hit by it pretty easily. Oh. All right, so Lazy got hit by Procadier. Then, but in return, he not get hit by Submission. That's a fair trade, in my opinion. Oh, that Sheed's looking a little bit broken right now. All right. All right. Oh, nice carrying through that karate chop right there. Oh, okay, heavy slam gonna be able to snag right there. 
Alright, so Quadso is on his last leg, so you have to play very, very carefully. Well, he's doing a nice keep away game right now. Ooh, Alien Snack vulnerable frames right there. Nice stuff. Well, the only guy who uses first, he really, really wants to win this right there and gets the Aqua Jet to finish that right there. Did unfortunately, though, waste his first, though. Is gonna have to charge that up for the next round. Well, Quads is gonna be sitting at about half of his. Right. Oh, starting off Ice Beam is not working out anymore. Quads is knowing he's gonna have it, able to jump up and avoid again. <laughs> Hit him out of the opposite there, that's kinda funny. Alright, oh, I'm gonna be able to come out, create a no critical hit to debuff right there. Oh, not. He knew that the charge was happening, but did not punish him quickly enough to be able to get him out of it. Oh, too wide is barely not hitting like that. What is Servo low? That's that's yeah. So what happened there was that Adex is low invincible. It would go through Surf, which I guess is a low. That's interesting. Huh. All right. All right. So Quad's gonna be going into his first, but so is Lazy. Oh, that could be very bad right there. Uh, this ice beam. And that's it right there. That's a first confirm. And there we go. Lazy going to be taking this first game. That 2 0 round. Alright, that's a good But, anyways. Alrighty, here we go. So, Lazy going to be taking that first game. This is a best of five, so he does need to win. The winner just needs to win three games to be able to take this victory. So Quad still has plenty of opportunities to take this back. But Lazy though, just playing so well right now. Really, really, really seeing good stuff, good stuff from him. Alrighty. Here we go. No change from either player, it looks like. Lazy, they're both going through classic stuff. Ooh, okay, so that ice is getting punched right there. Going for some JY stuff, not ever connected though, but getting one though, no, 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 it's enough to have the Oh, here comes the JX, he's gonna beat some big hit. Oh, goes for another combo, okay, I can appreciate that. That just still did a ton of damage, okay. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be doing some good stuff right there. Man, Quaz is looking at per oh, lost the perfect opportunity, but still, and there we go. Quaz in a huge dominating win right there. Alright, here we go. Nice JX. Oh, the second hit's gonna be a connection. This is gonna be a combo opportunity. Nice karate chop right there. Finish it off. Man, Lazy just not able to get his stuff in right now. I'm gonna, he's gonna create some situations for him. Oh, Wake Us Up though is not gonna get punished. Not gonna get hit either. Oh, there's a crap there by Quaz. Nice damage. Lazy just has to use first right now. He needs to get some sort of advantage. Oh, that's gonna be nice damage. Alright, here we go. Lazy hoping to turn this around right now. That's a first confirm. That's gonna be an evening thing up for Lazy right now. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here we go. So now Quad's going his own burst. Uh, oh, that's gonna connect. That's gonna be taking it there. Quad's gonna be winning the second round here. Switching back and forth and back and forth. It's very similar to their match earlier in this tournament. I wish I went, I'm pretty sure went to game three. So this could be going to, this could be a very, very close set in general. Alright, so here we go. Quaz able to land that JX right there. What? <laughs> okay, that 8X able to connect the, against that Aqua Jet. Quaz is doing tons of damage here. Well, he's just not able to get his opportunities. 
That's gonna be a combo. It's a nice both up close combat. Quad's looking out perfect right now. Alrighty. Oh, Surf not able to connect though. Nice counter right there. Not able to get too much off of him. Crit. Oh, nice pressure going on here from Lazy. Oh, does not get the full combo bro. There's Defog into Surf. Nice stuff here. Lazy can make it. Oh, okay. I thought. All right. Can can Lazy bring us back towards Quad's gonna be doing this here? Oh, this is close here. All right. Oh my God. This is whoever gets the next hit. Oh, the JY able to connect. This is close here. All right. Quad's able to snag that first round. Both players do have their burst ready to go. Nice, off of Jet. Oh, I'm really gonna be a little bit miscalled right there. Oh, mistimed counter right there, not able to connect. There's Steel Wing, not able to work either. That hitbox on Steel is actually really, really small. So it can be a little bit misleading. Oh, nice combo conversion off of the JY. Here we go, nice damage. Man, Lazy is really, really turning this around. Alright, now he's gonna be working for that first confirm. Alrighty. Let's see who's gonna be battle the first. Oh no! That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate there. Oh, but he gets a second chance at life here. Okay. Oh, not Elixir. This is scary. This is scary for both players. Oh my god, this is so close. Okay. Burn, whoever gets this next series of hits. Oh, Hydro Cannon not able to connect fully. Oh, this is so close. Umbreon coming out to play. Create some distance. Oh, and Jay. Sorry about that. Alright. Here we go. Quaz wins the second, the third game right there. Oh, this is so close. This is a good, good set right here. We're going into game uh, game four. Quaz only needs one more. Here we go. Nice damage right going on right here. Oh, able to 8x over the 4Y, I believe that is. Man, okay, Quaz is getting some nice damage right there. Some mission in right there. It's gonna be some good damage. Oh, frisky grab right there. It's a scary situation for Lazy. Oh, and there's a crit drop kick. Quaz take a very solid game round one right there. Just needs one more. He's gonna be able to snag this tournament. All right. Here, all right. Let's see here. All right. All righty here. So now both players do have their burst ready to go. Umbreon coming out. Play. Well, gotta snag that burst away from Claws. All right. That's gonna be counter right there. Not gonna be the uh, shot combo. That's a burst confirm. Oh, it doesn't go to the burst confirm. I can respect that. Let's get more out of it. Nice grab right there. Solid damage. So let's see how nice, nice stuff there from Lazy. He's really, really turning this around in his favor. But here comes Burst Machamp. This could be scary. Oh, that's the burst does not quite work out. Can he finish this off here? I don't know. Not quite yet. Machamp still has some HP to work with. No, this is scary. This is really, really scary. Oh, there's the count right there. Lazy's still in this. Okay, let's see. But Quaz still is on match point. One more round, he can do it, but Lazy can still bring this back. Let's see what happens here. Oh, the home attack working out right there. Okay. Here we go. Some nice, nice, solid damage off the crit JX. Alright. 
throwing some projectiles out. But Lady's taking advantage of that with his ice beam. Oh man, just countering just a bit too early. But that time not. Able to get some nice combos off of it. Ending it with the waterfall. Nice aqua jet, finding some vulnerable frames. Oh, grab not coming out though. Here comes Burst and on though. This could be very, very, very dangerous for quads. Oh, that is... Okay, okay, let's see. This might kill, this might not. I'm not quite sure. It's gonna be close. Either way, if it kills or not, quads in the best... No, this isn't gonna kill. This is not gonna kill. This is not gonna kill, but it's gonna be... Here we go. Quaz in a really tight situation. Ooh, this is scary. And there we go. Quaz with the fire bags. Able to snag the victory. 3-1. And taking the victory for himself. All right, here we go. Quaz is the first place winner of this tournament. Good stuff to both players. Lazy really putting up a really, really strong fight. Now, Quaz is our victor. And is going to be awarded with the controller. But I'm going to be hanging this off to our tournament organizer who's going to be doing the award ceremonies. Thank you. Alright folks, so that was your amateur bracket for today. We had 13 people enter, and uh, of course Quaz uh, coming out on top, so uh, his prize today is a brand new Hori Pad. Uh, this is the edition that released with Pokémon Tournament DX, um, so it is a very nice black matte finish. So that is all yours, sir, so congratulations. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.